the client is not always aware that you know how much effort they need to put in themselves for activities such as you know there could be um, a lot of requirements gathering and we mustn't always assume that the client is aware of how projects are meant to be implemented I mean the, the client is is just doing a normal you know day-to-day -day job just like everybody else you know um, so I, I think what tends to happen is that when when uh, projects are started, you know, consultants come in, PMs come in, they just assume that, yeah, the client will just know the process and know the approach. No, no, no. <laughs> right. So, you know, that, that needs to be, that needs to be really explained. So, you know, at kickoff, you know, when we have project kickoff, we, we go through the project approach, we go through the project style, we, we, we explain of what we're going to be doing and that needs to be properly understood. Again, uh, that needs to be then communicated to the, the stakeholders of the business. Yeah. So, you know, when, when I've been in, when I've been in kickoffs, uh, again, it, it's always been the senior management team, and which is fine. They understand the approach, but it's not the people. It's not really where it counts because where it really counts is those stakeholders because they need to understand the approach. Because if they understand the approach, then they they know how we're going to be managing the project. If they don't understand the approach they won't know and again this is a challenge because you know you have requirements gathering that needs to be done by the clients they need to be, they need to put together requirements of what they need and then that needs to be signed off that needs to be agreed by their business because again there's a process that needs to follow when you set up a requirement you know for example if you want if you have a requirement like well you know i've got i've got a shirt or i've got some trousers on my shirt i want i want i want two blue stripes on this side I want two pink stripes on this side. You know, if that's not agreed and somebody says, no, actually I want all, all blue stripes, or I want all pink stripes. And, or if we say, well, actually, um, I'm sorry, we can't do the pink stripes because that's not, that's not in the standard. In the standard is only blue stripes. If you want pink stripes, it's gonna cost you money. That's a gap. How big is yeah. the gap? Oh, that's a small gap because it's only two stripes. Wait, hold on. I actually want 50 pink stripes. Whoa, 50 pink stripes, that's a big gap. That's going to cost you even yeah. more money. So this is how we present, you know, fit gap analysis. You got to, right. And it's normally presented as a T-shirt size. So you've got a small, medium, or large. So a small gap, medium gap, or a large gap. You know, so, right, you know, yeah. just, just so clients can understand this, you know, the terms better.